Hey guys, author CJ and Naya here. Welcome back to Author Journey. Uh, today we're going to talk um, about an aspect of Kindle publishing that I've had a lot of questions about, um, especially from single moms and stay-at-home moms who are wondering if what I'm doing is actually helping either supplement uh, my husband's income or or quite possibly, you know, if, if this is something I can, you can really make a career of when it comes to Kindle publishing, making money online. Um, and and uh, I've heard some really heart-wrenching stories about financial situations that are difficult. I appreciate you sharing them with me. I know it's hard to, to talk about those things. Um, and uh, I, I feel like I have so many resources to offer you to help you. Um, but I also want to share uh, my story with you and kind of what I want to talk about right now. Um, if you're looking to, to publish on Kindle, but um, you, you don't necessarily feel like you're a good author, there, there is an online course out there that I have taken that I think is super amazing. And it's called K-Money Mastery. Um, and it, it was created by a guy named uh, Stephen James. And I've met him. He's a stellar guy, uh, got a lot of integrity, genuinely wants to help people. And uh, his products and his online courses, um, I've, I've bought two of them and, and they're fabulous. And they really taught me a lot um, about marketing on Kindle, about finding your uh, niche in Kindle, um, whether you want to publish nonfiction or whether you want to publish regular fiction, uh, how to optimize your Amazon sales page to to get uh, everything you need out of, to get people to find your page. Uh, he covers a lot of stuff and I, and I wanna go over that uh, a little bit, but just, um, just a little bit about me. I, I, I've told you guys that I originally started out as a singer and a songwriter and that when, when I wrote a book and joined the writing group, you know, I told you about that, how that worked in a different video. Um, and it was, it was for fun. It was something that I could accomplish, uh, something for me because I am a stay-at-home mom and, and I love being at home with my kids and I'm fortunate that I can do that and that my husband's job allows for that. Uh, but sometimes you need something for you and you need to be fulfilled. And so I really wanted to perfect my writing. And so it was a hobby at first. You know, I got traditionally published. I published my book. That was huge for me. Did the querying, did the agents, did all of that, and found a publishing company that, that wanted my stuff and thought that it was good enough. And I thought that was great. Um, but something happened a couple of years ago with Joe's job uh, where, I, and I've always known that his job is dangerous because he's an electrician um, at a mine, uh, a journeyman electrician. And so he deals with high voltage and, and um, things can happen that, uh, you know, if certain people aren't following safety procedures, accidents can happen and people have died before or been, you know, severely injured. But Joe came home one day and he had um, uh, been part of an explosion. There, there, one of the, his co-workers had done something and I, I'm not going to share the details of that, but, you know, the explosion rocked just up above Joe. He hit the ground and he could feel the heat on his back. And when he came home and told me that, I just sat there thinking, "This we've, we've got to do something else. We've got to make a change. And so that's when I really took my writing from, this is a hobby, this is fun to do, which it is, and I still feel it, to how can I make more money online as a stay-at-home mom with all my kids um, with this skill that I have? And so I really started researching that even more, um, you know, thinking that all the books that I already had with my publisher, they were going to have to stay there with her, you know, because they, I mean, it was a contract. I had a contract. I didn't have my rights to my books. So that was a little fr frustrating for me because as I started researching marketing, as I started researching how to publish books on Kindle, as I started researching um, different ways to speed up the process and, and, uh, I realized I had very little control when it came to being traditionally published. All the things I was learning, everything I wanted to do, I could not implement. Um, and so, but I kept studying and I stumbled across this K Money Mastery program um, that just blew my mind. It taught me so much about marketing, about taking my books on there. And then it, it, I realized that it wasn't just for authors. And I think that's what I want to, to stress here is that uh, K-Money Mastery is for anybody who who is, wants to be an entrepreneur, wants to make money online. You don't have to be an author. You don't know how to, you don't have to know how to write because a huge part of this program is teaching you how to outsource 
the writing to ghostwriters, essentially, to, to freelance writers who can write a 30-page book on meditation or write um, uh, a 30,000-word novella that is a romance, you know, um, and there's specific agreements and things that you can do. Now, me personally, when I started looking into this, I thought the nonfiction side was interesting because if I could outsource something uh, to someone else, then I can still write my fiction books and publish all my stuff under my name, obviously. Uh, but I have people behind the scenes working to publish books that, that are of high quality, that uh, address a need or a problem, and that solve that problem. So, so these are books that are helping people um, and, and Stefan really goes into detail about teaching you uh, how to find your, your niche and, and how to optimize it so that people are finding that book. Um, and so I was learning all of these amazing things and I wanted to implement them, especially with my own books that I already had written, um, but I couldn't. And so right around the time, because of this contract, right around the time that, that I started going through this video series, uh, this online course that Stefan had created, uh, something happened with the publishing company. I was able to get my rights back. That never happens because <laughs> I'd only been with them a year. That rarely happens. So be super careful if you're an author watching this when it comes to signing contracts, okay? Um, but uh, I did get all of my rights back. And man, I took all of the marketing advice that Stefan had in that video. And I put my books up on, on uh, Amazon, on Kindle. And, and I went from making about 300 bucks a month with my traditional publishers to that first month and I'll, I'll show you this I'm gonna show you my, my my sales spreadsheet from it was February 26 was it 2016 maybe it was March 2016 I'll have to look at the date um, but from making you know a little over 300 to a little over twenty four hundred dollars so almost twenty five hundred dollars that was huge for me you know um, especially when I started out I just didn't expect to make money period uh, writing anything because it was just fun um, and then things got real with Joe's job and we and I just didn't want him to have to be in a situation that was dangerous anymore um, so the goal has been to supplement his income so he has to work less overtime and to eventually you know phase out that job so that he can pursue what he wants to do which is designing basketball shoes he's he's an amazing designer um, and so I, I really took this challenge to heart and and I followed every single thing that was in um, the the K Money Mastery program, and and by doing that, by just just following the marketing, because I wasn't really interested in the outsourcing aspect of it yet. For me, it was all about control. I was writing it, I was publishing it. It was under my name. That's what I was going to do. Um, which is why I'm telling you that this isn't just for authors, because it, there's a whole thing, a whole section for people who don't necessarily have time to write, don't have the inclination to write, but. Uh, can still hire other people to do it and then publish those books under a pen name but still under their account and they get those royalties um, so I, I did that and not only did I make you know almost 2500 or possibly 2500 uh, just a little under that first month but my book the healer because I hadn't I didn't put it for free at the time it's free now um, my book, The Healer, was an Amazon bestseller for three months in a row. And that is, that's hard to do. <laughs> it's hard to make, when you're an obscure author and you don't have, a, I didn't have a mailing list. I had nothing. I had no following. It was just family and friends. Um, when you're an obscure author who, who doesn't know what she's doing, uh, to be able to stay on the Amazon bestseller list in a, in a category um, where it's young adult fiction, I mean, for three months in a row, that's, just, that's hard to do. Um, so, so that was impressive and that's when I knew it worked and I started to go into, uh, the other aspects of, of what Stefan had to offer. And he, he teaches some pretty darn amazing things about outsourcing. So I, I did some nonfiction books on, on, uh, meditation. I didn't really know what my niche was there. So I, I, I kind of dabbled in that and didn't take the nonfiction too seriously. Cause I realized at the end, it just wasn't what I was passionate about. I wasn't really passionate about nonfiction or hiring other people to do nonfiction. And eventually it came to me. And I think it's just because I was having such a hard time letting go of the fact that, you know, if I'm going to publish something, I have to be the one to write it. No, I, if, if I'm going to publish something under my own pen name, which is CJ Anaya, obviously I'm going to write that. That's for me, that's the integrity that I have that I want. And my readers, they, they know me, they know my voice. And that is, that's what uh, is, is important to me. 
Um, but then I considered the fact that as I'd been reading all of these different genres, because I really like to study genres and I like to study the tropes and the subgenres, and I love to see what's selling. So I'm constantly doing research online just to see. I realized that there were there were series that I could actually outsource and not, you know, put under my pen name, but that I could outsource as fiction and put them up on Kindle Unlimited and get paid for people who buy it and also people who um, read the pages. Because if you enroll your books in, in uh, Kindle uh, select. Um, you get paid for every time someone reads your pay, uh, page. Each page you get you get paid. Yay! So that's that's a really nifty source of income right there. Um, and so I started to go through Stefan's video tutorials um, that that teach you how to outsource um, nonfiction fiction. Um, and I wrote up a proposal and I put it up on Upwork and I had a proposal for ten. Um, 10 books in a series. It was essentially just going to be a, a bachelor romance because those are pretty popular. Um, uh, standalone romances are very popular, especially if they're, they're novellas and they're in a series. So, you know, anywhere from 40,000 to even 60,000 words, although that's a pretty big novella. <laughs> um, you know, if you have those in a book series um, and then start putting them out and then do pre-orders um, for the next books, you know, uh, you can build buzz and people can get really excited about it. But what's great is that you have someone else working on that while you're working on your own material. Now, for people who are not authors, this is great because you have someone working on either a fiction book, a fiction series, or, you know, a nonfiction book um, while you are working full time. Or uh, if you're a stay-at-home mom and you still have a million things to do and you just are not, you know, creatively inclined to write a book that way, you still are, are you know, pay someone to write it and it's not very expensive. Um, I paid $150 for a 40,000 word novella, that first one, and then we created a plan to where each book, once it was finished... Um, that writer would get another $150 and then, you know, Stefan teaches you how to write contracts and there's a template for that so that the ghostwriter agrees that those books belong to you, those rights belong to you. Um, so this, I think, is something that, that everyone should tap into because it's such an easy way to make money online with this program that he has. Um, and I want to show you the interface. So what I'm going to do right now is uh, I'm going to pause this, get my, my thing situated, <laughs> and then I'll be right back to show you uh, what, what the program looks like and, and just those stats of what I made that month after I uh, implemented all of Stefan's suggestions. Okay, guys, so here is my KDP report for, yeah, it looks like March 2016. Um, and so... If you just scroll down a little bit, this is this is what I made right here um, by implementing all of those uh, marketing tips and strategies with my books. And I think at the time I had three or four. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Because I, yes, four. <laughs> I think. I'm trying to remember. Um, but I had all of these, uh, so, so right over here is like what you made with like when your book is enrolled in Kindle Unlimited or Kindle Select and these are the page reads and what you make when people are, are, uh, are reading your books, how much you get paid. Those are the royalties there. And then um, royalties also combined with how many people buy your book. And so, you know, this is just in the U.S. store. When I scroll down, the numbers aren't that amazing for other stores, but I'm, I mean, 18 bucks, that works for me because I was super proud that <laughs> I made anything at all. So, you know, it goes through each store. And I really wasn't trying to promote across all of the stores. I was just, you know, I think it's harder in India to sell books unless they're either, you know, 99 cents or free or something like that. Um, although that market has really been opening up quite a bit. So, so that's really cool. And uh, so here's another. And, and then I wanted to show you. Um, just the interface of K Money Mastery. I'm not going to go and show you the videos, obviously. That would be dishonest because because I don't want to rip anybody off. I don't want to rip Stefan off. <laughs> Start showing his videos when, when he's worked so hard on them. Um, but this is this just shows you kind of what the, the homepage looks like, um, what, uh, what you can expect. These are students that he has 
that that really put what he uh, taught them to to work. You know, someone's making three thousand dollars per month. And what's interesting is most of these people. In fact, I think all three of these people. Um, from what I remember, are not authors, okay? So this is why I'm telling you that anybody can do this and anybody can make money online through Kindle Publishing. Um, so I'm trying to, you know, uh, help all of you understand that that if you can learn how to outsource the fiction and nonfiction books um, and then just, you know, learn how to to create the contracts and make sure that, that uh, you receive the royalties and that you have the rights to, to all of this, that's great. Now, some of us authors... You know, some of us who are who know what it takes to write a book, we're sitting there going, man, who who in their right mind would write a book and only get paid one hundred and fifty dollars because we know the potential of passive income for that written work. Once you write something, you've written it once and it's done and you can put it up on Kindle and then it keeps making you money over and over again. It's great passive income. It's great intellectual property. So in my mind, I'm thinking, man, I would never in a million years do that because I am an author and it is what I do and I know the potential of 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 what I'm doing but for other people who have a ton of time and are on upwork.com and can uh whip out 2,000 5,000 even 10,000 words a day it it makes sense for them to uh to do this to get a project um whip out a a non-fiction book that's 5,000 words make 150 bucks you know it makes sense to them uh, it's harder for me to wrap my brain around it coming from that end, but I'm just glad they do it, to be honest with you. I'm not going to question it. If they're making a lot of money doing that, that's great for them, and I'm excited for them. But for me, man, it just makes more sense to continue to write my own books, publish them under my own name, and outsource other books um, and get those published under different names because obviously anything I write you know, is mine and anything that is outsourced is just going to be under a pen name that I don't claim I've written because I haven't. So, but I still have the rights to it. And that's my own personal moral code, I guess you could say, with writing. Other people will think differently, and that's totally fine, however you want to do it. Um, so, yeah, this is just all of this. And what's cool is that he has, you know, um, upgrades to where if you want to be a part of the Facebook group um, and, and learn from other people who are taking the courses just like you, then you can. Um, and then you can enroll in a monthly membership where you're getting new content and new videos every month. And that's amazing, too. So you're staying up to date on what you can do. But, it, you know, if you're looking to make, I don't know, five hundred, a thousand, two thousand dollars. I mean, some people have even made ten thousand a month doing this like this dude here. This what it what Lars. Hello, Lars. Good laws. Ten thousand per month, and it's fun to listen to these two these uh these testimonials. Um, it gets you pumped. So anyway, I just I wanted to let you guys know that everybody has a why behind why they're making money online. Um, what what motivates them or or what the catalyst is for for getting them to look for ways to make money. Um, mine's very personal. Obviously, I think everyone's is, but you know we really wanted to to not only have Joe be a part of something that wasn't dangerous, because <laughs> it still is, um, but also so that he can eventually do what he loves, which is designing shoes. So figure out your why. Um, figure out what you think um, what you think you want to do with the money that you could make, you know, uh, whether it's to better your life, better your family's life, have more time with them. Uh, for you single moms, it, I know that a lot of you want to be home with your kids. Some don't. Totally cool. What, whatever it is you need, think about the why and let that be your motivation and look into this. Um, now, I'm, I'm going to put the K Money Mastery link in this description below. It is an affiliate link because I'm super passionate about this. So I do make a, a commission. I want you to know that. And this is, you know, another way that I make money online. So I've found various ways to to do that. Um, but I never, ever promote anything that I don't firmly believe in and, and uh, anything that I don't use. I use this constantly. I go back and refer to this, uh, the tutorials, if I feel like I'm not remembering something. I will go back. Uh, I do that all the time. Um, and then the, it's just about advancing after that and moving forward. So I hope that this video was helpful. I hope it helped you to get to know me a little better. And uh, for any of you people who aren't authors, I hope it also made you realize that you can can do this um, without ever having to write a book, <laughs> oh, which is cool. So um, yeah, make sure you click on that link, check it out, see what you think. And please comment below to let me know if you do get it. 
um, or to let me know if you have any questions, but I would love it if you got it and then let me know how your journey is with it, you know. Um, tell me what you found was great about it, um, maybe any difficulties that you have. Sometimes people just feel so overwhelmed and they're not very motivated because it's like, oh. Uh. But the great thing about Stefan's uh, videos is that it's very step by step and after each tutorial he has you do something, some kind of action step to where you're doing just one task to get you closer and closer. It's a little bit like homework and I like that kind of structure. So after each video I would do exactly what he said and I would go find, uh, decide the niche I wanted to write in or I would, you know, pick a title or, or whatever it was that he directed me to do. Just follow it. Follow it and, and you will find success with it. Um, and uh, that's all for now. We'll, uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for listening to this. Bye-bye.